Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Ian and Ian to talk about the topic of a moral hazard that could be a CBDC. Hey, thanks for having us on. Thank you. Leon, Ian, good to see you guys. Glad you, glad you could make it. So I, I think both of you guys uh, caught a little bit of what we were talking about in the previous panel. Let me introduce you to the audience uh, first. So uh, Leon is the uh, chair of the Workstream on Technology and Infrastructure Security at the Bank of International Settlement. He is also an international payments expert working for the World Bank Group, and he's a member of the Mobile Payments Work Group at the World Economic Forum. Um, Ian, I've been listening to for quite some time. I enjoy his um, free talk live show uh, that you all should uh, dial into sometime. You can find it all over the place. It's live every day, I believe. Um, That's right. It's a show that promotes freedom and liberty. And uh, I think Ian was one of the early cryptocurrency proponents. And I think the, the way I actually stumbled across free talk live was that Roger Ver mentioned that he heard about Bitcoin specifically on your show. Am I, am I right about that? Yep, that's true. Uh, Roger was a sponsor of Free Talk Live back when he was just the memory dealer's Roger, back when he sold uh, computer RAM wholesale. Uh, so he was one of our sponsors at that time. And uh, one of our listeners called in to tell us about this weird, geeky thing called Bitcoin. And uh, he caught the vision of it, I think, before a lot of people. And as you probably know, the rest of the story went out and spent God knows how much of his uh, money buying Bitcoin, probably when it was less than a dollar a piece and did very well with that. Yeah. Yeah, very great story. Um, Leon, so what do you do on, on a daily basis in terms of technology infrastructure security with the Bank of International Settlement? And what are they concerned about? Well, I just want to correct you. I, I was uh, part of the Figgy initiative, which BIS was um, uh, a critical component, uh, Financial Inclusion Global Initiative. So that included Gates Foundation, World Bank, and IMF. So that's kind of moved on mm -hmm. uh so r right now i and I, my other role was i founded the um, digital financial services observatory at uh at columbia business school and i just left that a, a few months ago uh and then looked at the technology and regulation around digital currencies and specifically mobile money or digital financial services of which cbdc's uh, and the like were, were obviously a emerging critical component um, what, I, what I usually do is I, I, I consult to, uh, to regulators and governments and corporations around the world. And my focus is really more on developing world countries. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the preceding uh, conversations are very, very good. Uh, we're, we're primarily uh, on US and, and sort of OECD type uh, countries. So whatever perspectives I give is my uh, experience uh, consulting for, for, for governments, um, corporations, and writing laws and regulations, basically modernizing them to keep track with um, technology developments. And uh, what was said before is entirely correct, is that the, the uh, uh, regulations and laws, as they are needed, uh, need to be more functional uh, than institutional. So I, I, my, my mantra is more functional regulation where regulations are needed to, to modernize things um, than, than institutional. I think that ship has, uh, has sailed. Um, so I, 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 I deal a lot with uh, what is euphemistically called mobile money, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, was pointed out was M-Peso, or mobile uh, money in Swahili. Swahili is the, um, the peso is the Swahili word for money, um, and that is kind of an, an analog of a of a parallel currency per se, except it does um, lead back to the central bank. Uh, and the, the, I think it's instructive to look at what's gone right and what's gone wrong with it, um, and more has gone gone right. And it's instructive in terms of CBDCs because it, uh, especially around the identification KYC components, um, that has an impact on 
how CBDCs could be, be rolled out, are being rolled out in the limited forms uh, that, that they are. So I, my experience in the, the mobile money space, I think is uh, in parallel the emergence of CBDCs because you're not dealing with a kind of a, uh, a, a parallel currency, um, which is backed, if you will, by a central bank currency. Mm -hmm. Ian, um, so I, I think a lot of the other speakers made already a lot of the same points that you would agree with that CBDC definitely have the potential to increase um, the risk of abuse of, of centralized powers. But maybe to be contrarian, can you see a variety of a CBDC that wouldn't do that, that would be an actual digital bearer instrument? Or is your position that no, if it's being issued by the state, it's always going to be abused. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.